you first take an empty egg or an egg cell and remove its genetic material and so it now won't go anywhere you know there are no genes to provide the recipes for growth uh, and instead you replace them with the genes that come from the already existing being whether it's a sheep donkey monkey or human and you put those genes into the empty egg now if you think about fertilization if it had been a normal fertilization the egg would have had its genetic material and then the genetic material from the sperm two sets and so we've taken an adult cell that's got its two sets and put it in and so the empty egg now is no longer empty it's got two sets of genes which are identical to the donor organism and we've now got to persuade that egg with its two sets of genes to grow like an ordinary embryo and that's really the technology and if that if that embryo does succeed and you can make a pregnancy with it and it comes to term then what is born in the case of Dolly the sheep the lamb is genetically identical to the sheep that donated the genetic material Scientists claim that cloning has many benefits, such as treating heart diseases by replacing the damaged heart by cloned one. In addition to that, scientists think that it will change the face of medicine by manipulating the cells to other types of cells. Cloning has risks too, as low efficiency and being expensive. And researchers are now working on increasing the number of stem cells in order to use them in regrowing or developing certain organs and replacing damaged heart muscles. Moreover, we reach uh, the ethics. Our ethicist thinks that the ethics of a human should be a big issue, and cloning a human being is a controversial issue when it comes to ethics. Each person individually must decide for themselves if they believe that cloning should be allowed or not, because of the long-term genetic effects of cloning that may cause more problems than can be imagined, or because it is religiously forbidden. And that makes us reach the question of cloning, is with the actual doing of it. Is it moral to clone a person? or even to clone some of their characteristics. And now we reach our final part, which is policies. Uh, human cloning is a well-known debatable topic uh, worldwide. Countries claim it's unethical or moral, uh, while others find it acceptable in order to save lives. Additionally, the worldwide organizations have different points of views as well. An example of this is the United Nations and the European Union. The United Nations think, think that human cloning is incompatible with human dignity and protection of human life, while on the other hand, the European Union supports the stem cell research and approves its therapeutic cloning.